we have got a new TTS that also supports voice cloning. And in this video, I'm going to share the code, how you can use the TTS, how you can also do voice cloning. The only catch here is that this solution, if you use, you cannot use it for commercial purpose. The very recent TTS that we saw on this channel is something that you can use for commercial purposes. And it is just 82 million parameter model that was Kokoro TTS. But in this case, Outi TTS is a 500 million parameter model. But the sad part here is that I don't know if they have used training data which is commercially not available so the saddest part here is that if you use this you can't use it for YouTube videos you can't use it for let's say uh, audiobooks or anything that you want to do but the thing is it's always good to know if you want to use it for personal use you can always do this like locally within your computer so as part of this video I'm going to show you what is this model what kind of things that this model is really good at and also we're going to see a code Google collab code where I'm going to show you how you can use this model and then run the entire thing I'm going to share the Google Collab notebook with you. That means you don't have to start from scratch. First of all, before we jump into the code, a very brief introduction about the model. This is Outi AI or Outi TTS. This is a 500 million parameter model. This is the successor of a previous model that they have released. I have a feeling that I might have covered the first model. I'm well, not sure. So this is a model that is built on top of Quen 2.5, uh, 0.5 billion parameter model. So that is helping with the language component or the transformer component. And they have trained it on like multiple different training data sets. So if you see here, they've used an Emilia data set, which is of course, CC by NC, non-commercial, Libri TTS, and then multilingual Libri TTS. Because you've got multilingual Libri TTS, you obviously know that it supports more languages than English. But again, a lot of people were asking when I covered Kokoro, whether something covers Spanish. Unfortunately, this does not cover Spanish, but I'm pretty sure I would try to cover a TTS solution that would cover Spanish. So this is a base model with 2.5, Quen 2.5. The parameter count is 500 million. And then these are the languages it supports. The saddest part is the license. But again, it's an open weight. You can use the model as it is. There are a bunch of interesting things that this model do well. One is that this model also comes with a GGUF version, which you can run with Llama CPP. That technically means that you should be able to run this model even if it is a 500 million parameter model. Ideally, you should be able to run this model locally within your CPU. That is not what I'm covering today. But someday if there is an interest, I might do it. But again, given that Kokoro TTS was really nice, I was not bothered so much to cover a local solution at this particular point. Now quickly jumping into the code that we have got. This is a Google Collab notebook. I'm running this on T4 GPU. If you happen to use the notebook, you don't have to do anything other than go run the code. So very first step, we have to install the library here out TTS. They, it comes with its own library to make it easier for you to run the code. Once you have successfully installed the library, the next thing that you want to do is you have to specify the model path from where you want to download the model. So this path basically comes from Hugging Faces Model Hub. So this is a 500 million parameter model. And these are the supported languages, English, Chinese, Japanese, Korean. And we are going ahead with English. And then you have to just initialize the interface. Once you initialize the interface, in this case, it's a 0.2 model, not the 0.1 model. Now you can display what are the default speakers available for you. So if you quickly go take a look at the default speakers that are available, you've got totally 16 speakers across four languages. You've got for English, you have six speakers four male two female for japanese you have got four speakers for korean you have got four speakers for chinese you have got two speakers i'm not sure what a chinese version is this like is it like exactly like mandarin or something else but you have got two chinese speakers and again the one that i've selected here which is english i've got six speakers and basic basically we have managed to load the default speaker Another interesting thing that they mention here is that you need to load a speaker with a particular voice characteristic. If you do not do that, uh, every time you will get like a random speaker characteristic. Like it's a, it's an auto regressive model. So that means for the first time, if you generate with a speaker and the second time, if you generate with the speaker, unless you specify the speaker, you will get like different, different voices. So it's always good to specify the speaker if you want like consistent voice across your generations. So you have got the speaker here and which is like male one in this particular case. And you just have the interface dot generate, which is like model dot generate using transformers. You've got the text, which is like the input text that you want to be 
converted into speech then you have got the temperature lower the temperature is better you don't want like hallucination here there is a repetition penalty just in case if the model is going to go into loop and the maximum length which is like 4000 tokens in this particular case and uh, you can specify the speaker profile and that will create the output which you just have to finally save it as a wave file whatever the file format that you want and then you can either play using this particular step or I've added this code where you can just use IPython's display to just play the audio. So this is the first thing that we are going to trans, not transcribe, I don't know, what do you call this to convert into speech? Synthesize. Okay, so speech synthesize, synthesis is the artificial production of human speech. Let's play it and then listen to it. I'm going to go there and play it. Speech synthesis is the artificial production of human speech. That's uh, that's a pretty good audio, to be honest. Um, I would say it has done a pretty good job. What I can quickly do is I can just load another speaker for you and then show you how it looks a difference. So I'm going to just copy the code, add a new code here, paste the code. Instead of going ahead with the male one, I'm going to go ahead with the female two and then do the same thing, exact same thing. And then let's see. And output play it's still doing the synthesize synth, speech synthesis usually it doesn't take this long okay um yeah the output dot play didn't work because i have to specify the back end let's go back to what we were doing before well uh, which is this one run this this speech synthesis is the artificial production of human speech okay not bad but i think there's like some sort of like background noise there um i like nail one okay now that is not why you probably would have clicked this video you would have clicked here because you wanted voice cloning before we get into voice cloning one thing that right off the bat i would like to say that from my experiment the voice cloning was not particularly great also as a matter of fact i did not give really high quality audio clip there are two issues there are two voices that i experimented this with one is my personal voice like literally the voice that you're listening to second i've gotten given like former us president obama's voice like there is something to that voice in both the cases i made a mistake and the, the reason i wanted to highlight that is because these are certain guidelines that they've mentioned specifically if you're trying to do voice cloning one you want to have shorter audio clip duration 10 to 15 seconds because ultimately it is all going to be converted into tokens and the model's context length is 4096 token so the input voice that you're giving cannot be a longer so this is the, your ideal sweet spot 10 to 15 seconds second the audio quality should be really really crisp and good problem is any voice that you give it's going to capture everything that is in the voice so if there is like a background noise it is going to capture that also as part of the voice cloning and accurate transcriptions the way it is going to work is it's going to generate like use the voice with a text so if my voice is not good enough for open ai whisper to transcribe into english and if it cannot match that english with my voice of course your voice cloning is going to sound pretty bad and finally most important thing is the speaker familiarity so there are certain um let's say voice that has gone into the training data and if your voice is totally different from what it has gone into the training data then the output quality would not be good so what are the mistakes that i've done so with Obama's voice, the mistake that I did is the audio quality. And with my voice, the mistake, of course, obviously is speaker familiarity. I am not entirely convinced that they would have had a lot of Indian accent. So thereby it has a difficulty in picking up my accent, complementing it with a whisper transcription, and then finally coming back to me with a new voice. Finally, if you want to make improvements, you can use parameters like uh, temperature uh, to just refine the voice. But having said that, this is something that you can actually try out. And the reason I wanted to put out this video particularly is for you all to experiment with different voice cloning setup and then do it. I've used the same model long, long ago and used Oprah's voice. And then it did a particularly good job, like even when the model was before V0.2. So I guess the model would do good. It's just that you have to nail the particular right set of voice with the right quality 
which should ideally work for in this case. But if you want to listen to some terrible voice cloning here, you can go and listen. So first of all, I've uploaded my own voice. The way you can do it is you can have, I'm going to just like remove this error. It looks so ugly. I don't want um, it to be there. Okay. So first of all, the way you can create a voice profile is what they call as a speaker profile, which is like what we call as cloning. So you have got a pro method called create a speaker. And here you have to specify the audio path where the input voice is there. The 10 to 15 seconds in this particular case with Google Collab, I literally go here and just upload the voice. So whatever voice that you have got, click upload and then upload it. Once you upload it, the voice would appear here. And then all you have to do is click three dots, copy the path, come back here and then paste the path. Once you do that, okay, let me erase it, paste it. Once you do that, you basically have added the audio path of the voice that you have given as input for it to be cloned. Another good thing that you can do is if you're going to do it personally yourself, uh, I would strongly encourage you to give the voice transcription yourself than asking Whisper to do it. In my case, I did not give any voice transcript. I just asked Whisper to transcribe, which happens through Whisper Turbo model, which itself is not like a great model to be honest, especially for Indian accent. But again, if you were to do this, like, for example, if you're saying, hey, I love one little coder, he is great. Uh, that guy is so narcissistic that his examples are always about him. Then I would say that, OK, I would go here and then type, OK, hey, uh, I love one. So you, you have to give the transcript there than letting Whisper transcribe it for you unless until you are native speaker and you are very confident that Whisper would have transcribed the actual exact same text that you spoke. So after you define the speaker profile, one, you can always go ahead and then save the speaker profile. You can see an example here, save the speaker profile. And um, yeah, all you have to do is save the speaker profile. But in my case, I'm just literally using it on the fly. So what I'm doing is I'm taking that exact same code that we used before uh, the text. In this case, I've just given this is the best day in the entire world to live a great life or maybe not temperature, repetition penalty, max length, speaker, and then I'm saving the final voice as an output cloned voice, which is the trans, uh, the synthesized speech synthesized version of this particular text. Let's listen to it and then see how it sounds. This is my output clone. My personal voice It's going to sound terrible. This is the best day in the entire world to live a great life or maybe not. Somehow I feel, I don't know how many of you actually watch chess. There is um, there is a player called Wesley So. Uh, he is originally from Philippines, but he plays for USA, settled in the USA. Very nice player. I like him a lot. Very kind player, which often usually you don't see in these kind of high profile games. My voice kind of sounds like Wesley So. I don't know. I don't know if it got confused with the Indian accent and the US accent. It kind of like mixed up and got like a Filipino accent. I'm not sure if that is what has happened, but kind of it sounds like that. But again, um, not, not bad. <laughs> not bad, except it doesn't sound like me. So now I decided to try out Obama. The problem that I have with this particular voice is that this voice has a lot of noise behind it. So if I have to very quickly show you what is my input voice in this particular case, maybe that's a good idea for you to actually see what is the input voice in itself in Obama's case. So I've got this input voice which is going to be pretty. I don't oppose war in all circumstances. And when I look out over this crowd today, I know there is no shortage. As you can see here, first of all, there is a lot of noise and this it's it's like a speech he is probably giving. Um, it's very close, tight. So I don't think like Whisper would have done a good job in transcribing it. So I obviously feel this is a very bad sample to give for voice cloning, but I wanted to check how it is going to sound. So I've just basically given this, did not save a speaker profile and use the same input text and then finally decided to save the output. And you can see here, I've got output underscore Obama and I'm gonna just play it for you. This is the best day in the entire world to live a great life or maybe not. As you can see here, there are certain aspects of the input voice. It captured really well. One is the background noise it captured well. And two, it kind of captured the enthusiasm, the energy of it, which in this case, it has done a pretty good job of capturing. But what we actually wanted is for it to capture Obama's like actually voice, which it did not do. So if you were to use this, then I would strongly encourage you to record like a 10 to 15 second clip with an actual script and then use the script as the transcript here. Like if you go here, use the script as a transcript here and then see how the model is doing. If the model is not doing good, 
then change model whisper model to have a, I mean, you're giving transcript, it doesn't matter if you're not giving transcript, like use something like a large model or a media model. And also another thing is like they said, you can play with the um, the settings here, like parameters here. So I can probably increase the uh, temperature from uh, 0.1 to 0.5. Not sure if it is going to do a good job, but what you can do here is I've made a mistake. I'm going to override my voice with, uh, I think, Obama's voice. Let's see what it does. So, because we have given the speaker profile there, so it's going to take Obama's voice in this particular case. And once this is done, uh, I, you get to see like 14 seconds it took to play this. This is the best day in the entire world to live a great life, or maybe not. Okay, it took speaker profile from uh, the speaker profile of the female that we created. Okay, I get it. That's completely fine. But you get to get to change the temperature and then see how it is going to do. So to quickly summarize, we have got a new model which is called OUTI TTS. This is a 500 million parameter model. After using this model, honestly, my respect for Kokura has increased multiple fold. If you have not seen my Kokura video, I've got like three to four videos. You should strongly check it out. But again, I'm not saying like this is a bad model. I think Kokoro is like an amazing model for like 82 million parameter model or 72 million parameter model. So this is a model. We have seen like what the model is supposed to do. It's built on top of Cohen, which I'm a big fan of. And then we saw how to do TTS, how to define speaker profile, then create your own speaker profile, which is like technically voice cloning, and then finally create your audio output. I will link the Google Collab in the YouTube description for you to play with it. But otherwise, thank you for watching this video. See you in another video. Happy prompting.